Do you reckon it's a maybe or a spin back plan or falling apart? What do we do now? But this is a we beat them. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go in second month. So, let us do this vaccine in week two months. Getting those little compliments, like, literally made me cry. It's always awkward sitting across the table crying in front of your kids' teachers. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to Mindy's Cook. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna cook with you guys today because you've seen enough of that. You got double crock pot. Something's going on. I know. Today's a busy day. It's a Wednesday, and initially I was like, I have nothing on my calendar today. <laughs> I'm doing a, an activity tonight for all of the youth in our neighborhood. Which and is 80 kids. 80 kids, yep. And That's I have to lot. provide rides for all of them. It's gonna be interesting, but I think it's going to be super fun. Mindy, it's far beyond rides. We don't have to break down the entire mm. thing, oh, but it is a so awesome. service scavenger hunt where they're going to descend on this neighborhood providing service to literally every single home. It's a contest between, I don't know, basically 80 kids. Teams. Teams. She's coordinated into maps, matching colored wristbands. She's getting the drivers lined up. It's a big freaking deal. It's gonna be awesome, I'm excited. Because I'm so awesome. Oh. I'm also taking soup into the school this afternoon. For parent-teacher conferences for the- Junior high teachers. Teachers to be able to have a meal while they're at school doing parent-teacher conferences and then decided to triple down and actually do our kids' parent-teacher conferences <laughs> going and talking and meeting with the teachers tonight. Yeah, your day is really free, Plus, wide open. Making our family dinner. Wide open day for you. That's why I look like this. I haven't even showered. And not to mention, you got the results back from your ultrasound today as well. You got that on the mind. Or yeah. on the note, I should say. On the note. <laughs> Guys, I've been calling doctors this morning because I have to be referred to another doctor because I have an abnormal node. Always knew something was abnormal about you. We just didn't <laughs> know it was the node. In my ultrasound I got done on Friday, I have felt something in my neck. I found an abnormal lymph node. I have been <laughs> living with notes. I called and made an appointment with an ENT. They will figure that out. And then on Friday, I have my endoscopy. You are just a medical marvel right now. Well, You're you just know, a let's walk just get that insurance deductible. Yeah. You're gonna say, line up any surgeries you have for later this year, because we're hitting that max, baby. Today is off to a smashing start. Pulled out to the old recipe book. Today is the first day that I have found my love for that section of the kitchen. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the snow, because it's snowing and it looks beautiful. We're not talking about the snow, because okay, I But it's beautiful. Okay, keep going. Punch it in the throat. In the nose. <laughs> then it would have an abnormal <laughs> node. <laughs> Never really used back there. True. I kind of the toast just, area. I'm in one of the spaces in our home that I'm like, I don't know why we did this. Beautiful. Other that was awesome. I, think I love it's it. Cool. It's a very cool extension to this kitchen that looks very picturesque in pictures. I've been using that area back there to just organize, do all my crafting, cutting, and, and none of that is here where it would normally be, so you can make dinner. Yeah, mm. just living that. Killing it. Hey, you are, because this dinner's good. Zupa Toscana. It's amazing. I actually went to Olive Garden the other night. Mindy was oh, like, I, I just like talked this about this in stories. <laughs> I was like, Brandon's gonna hate me for saying this, but no, you guys, Olive yours Garden is way better. was awful. Mindy, <laughs> sorry, that's weird. I, said I used it. to work there. No, we didn't just try <laughs> soup. The kids had didn't all. finish their meals. I had the tour. Brandon had the tour and didn't I eat it. I force fed myself a quarter of it. it I don't was, know. It was maybe, a bad outing. Maybe our palates are have been refined. Matured. Yeah, if they would have served cotton candy, they would have been legendary. Zupa Toscana honestly is not as good as mom's. Yours is better. I'm not just saying that. Yours is legendary. It's fantastic. Hey. Making that for and the you guys, teachers we are and us. Lovers. Brandon used to work there. <laughs> really so. was sad about how badly it went. But I know. It was not the greatest. I'm going to make those. better than Olive Garden do put a Ooh, soup I right like now. that. That's what you should name it, that recipe. Stuff's underway over there for tonight's <laughs> activity. Kids get out early today, so it's an early out. So I'm just about to go pick them up. House is going to get louder, a little more chaotic here in a minute. You're going to head over, drop off the soup, go to parent teacher conference, and we'll get ready for tonight. <laughs> it's your easy free day. Yay! Say, I don't even recognize myself today. <laughs> I finally found a drink choice. I've been really trying to drink a lot more water and not drink things with aspartame. Did find one solution, so I have had a little bit of energy today. I'm really, really grateful because I chose a drink with like a natural sweetener and it is helping me so much. I finally feel a little bit of life in me. I've been struggling with like a little bit of motivation lately. I have both of my crock pots plugged in, cooking dinner. I've done the dishes, I've done my activity, got it all planned out. I'm not normally this productive, haven't been the last week. Huh, like a whole new person today. Makes me so happy. I am I'm just staring out, looking at this beautiful view, watching it snow, and I'm not sad about it. I think Brennan talked about this yesterday. We had high hopes that we were gonna swim in our pool for spring break, which is in 31 days from now. I don't really see that happening. Mayday, we need some spring break plans. <laughs> The 
snow has not stopped falling, but it's the thin light stuff. It's not really accumulating. It's just beautiful to look at. Like Speaking me. of beautiful to look at, how did you know I was gonna go there with that? You're talking about <laughs> thin and beautiful to look at, so I just knew you were talking. So I was talking about chia pudding. <laughs> I know, guys. Uh, homemade, mom makes this chia pudding I, herself. She's I that weird. I like really weird things, I think. Yeah, you do. But I, I love that you make it yourself and you- I'm weird. I like ketchup and apples. She does like ketchup Well, you apples. actually do? I thought it was a joke. It's real. Got the kids home. Mom, though, Kiss taking mom up us. back to the school. I know, I was telling them earlier, like, I don't even recognize myself. And look, guys, I showered and got ready. Like. Amazing. Uh, amazing. You're incredible. Incredible woman. Bringing some Zuba Toscana to school. Yeah, wow. You said that really fast. Zuba Toscana to school. Zuba Toscana to school. Zuba Toscana to school. Yes. I did? Zuba Toscana. Recipe is on our blog. It is so good. It's called the Better Than Olive Garden of Zuba Toscana. <laughs> Change the title of that. Then also, you are doing actual parent teacher conference reports, getting the yes. lowdown on the teenage boys, the, kids the junior just hires. Their teachers. So I have. How many teachers is that, Mindy? 17 teachers. Mindy, is this like the rest but of your month? A couple of the teachers, because we don't have a huge junior high, a couple of them I meet with for both kids. Okay, so that's a twofer. One, two. You can feed two birds three. with one scone. So three teachers, both kids have. I didn't even hear you. you I know, you're never listening. <laughs> Gosh. We are going to be doing homework. Piano. Piano. I'm going to say a lot of piano. We got three kids in piano right now, and all three need to practice. Yes. Crew's in there right now. Hazy Breck's up next. We're doing pretty good. Speaking of doing pretty Coffee, good, Brexy Doodle has made his own concoction here of Taki Mac and Cheese. He makes a mac and cheese. Kind of just like like cup, cheese. Kind of craft little cup of mac and cheese in the microwave. Very easy to make. I love them. Super simple. Even I can do it. But then, take that spice and heat up a level. This is cooking by Brex. He mashes the Takis bag and then puts the dust into here and makes a hot and spicy Taki Mac and Cheese. I think it's Super. genius, bro. Absolute genius. Yeah. Maybe take these with mac and cheese. Wait, no. That's some great eyeshadow. <laughs> I just got home from parent and teacher conferences and you can tell a little bit by this scene right here how it went. Really um, well. The kids did amazing. The teachers recommended please have your dad help with more of your work. So that's what we're doing. Hey, actually, I have a little announcement to make about that. The boys are doing really, really great. They have a few missing assignments. So I told them, I was like, let's nip it in the bud. The butt or the butt? It's the butt, I think. But I think honestly, the, butt. the kind of things where it's <laughs> like, oh, I didn't do these last two or that's in my back. We need to nip it in the butt. Really, on top of for the most part, these are just a couple of things. Except for him, he's got a lot. Just some quiz retakes and stuff. One thing. Yeah, just some like little things. And our school's really great. They work with the kids. They allow them to retake stuff if they need to. They'll help them correct what was wrong to make sure they understand it to move on. They did phenomenal. They had a specific compliment given to Crew. There's a boy in his class that he struggles just a little bit. Crew is like really awesome to help him and like be a friend. Getting those little compliments like literally made me cry. It's always awkward sitting across the table crying in front of your kids' teachers. What we do every single day is for our kids and try to raise good human beings. It's like the intangible and valuables, whatever you call that, like it can't be measured on a test or a quiz, but it's that life skill that you care about others and help them out. So you are succeeding in life. You're getting a 4.0 in the academic of life. They did awesome, but you guys, I don't think we've told you this. We are going to be presenting at the school career fair. Presenting. Yeah, we have to present six times. Life. 25 minutes each. Of a YouTuber. It's and a yeah. career fair, yeah. Talking about being a YouTuber and social media. We're going to go share our expertise in YouTube. A little bit that I know. This is the brain right here. No. He's no. not all just looks, guys. I just use He's you. He's got the brain. <laughs> I just use you for your looks. So that's. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You're going to be doing the career fair and I don't know exactly what we're going to share yet. Oh, I can we should make a hype rail. They said I only have an hour. Seven one hour sessions or something. You guys, I'm not kidding. People will start talking to Brandon and I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody make him you stop. You don't know what you just stepped Stop putting into. the quarters in. He'll just keep going. <laughs> present. Are you guys going to sign up to take our class? You've got oh, yeah. to. I guess you can help team teach. Be kind of fun. It'll be cool because they're going to have tons of people and we can just go around to different classrooms. I think they're going to have like 20 different professions that you guys can learn about. There was a high demand for online social media type stuff, so it'll be kind of fun. We are loading up in the car right now. Loading snacks, treats, root beer floats, maps, wristbands, hoodies, and jackets. Mom, are we ready to descend on this neighborhood and smother it with service? 
Smother it with service. We should call that the activity, smother it with service. Smother it, baby. Okay, give us a thumbs up to wish this activity good luck. Mom's put some blood, sweat, and tears into this it's one. It's a lot of work, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be a lot of chaos to manage. We are up for the task. We're taking off to go do it right now. We'll be back in an hour and a half to two hours, depending on if we make it out of this alive. Oof. Well, there's a Rupert float at the end. <laughs> okay, so. then we can survive. <laughs> Three hours later. We just got back from probably one of the most legendary. I'm going to say something that wasn't nice, but I can't think of anything because it was just so nice. It was so great. It was I so we could have brought you guys along and showed everything. It was so So much I don't think fun. we really did a great job articulating that. We just couldn't bring you along because we'd be going through and into people's homes and don't want to bring a million people in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to brag for you. You don't have to. Oh, God. So mom took a map of the neighborhood, broke it down by household, divided it into teams. The households were divided up by streets so that it was like geographically. It sounds intense. It was. She <laughs> color coded each section, put the names of who lived in each home into that section and then divided the entire youth group up into teams of, I think it was six six-ish people? Yeah, six. So we had... Ten teams of six? Yes. Ten teams of six go descend on the neighborhood and so you had to hit up your section and serve everybody in that section. It was coordinated mm -hmm. to the color of your wristband. I think everyone was blown away by the level of organization. Mom said, you know, I just think I needed something fun to do and to dive into no. and I think you really love this in Tour de Bar. So anyway, where's that list? I was gonna say, so some of the things that were on the list, you walk up, you go to the door, you ring the doorbell, whatever, and you say, hey, we would like to serve you tonight in any way that you would like us to, but here's a list of things that we could do for you. And the list was like 20 things long, like water a plant, wipe down a table, do some dishes, take out the trash, read a book. So many fun things. There's also homeowner's choice. So if there's anything you want us to do. So I wish the kids were here, but they had to run up and shower because they it's stayed and play basketball. We stayed like an extra hour. It was so much fun. Ryler's group <laughs> got asked to do all kinds of crazy things. They were yes. changing lights, delivering tables to other neighborhoods. Like, I, I don't know what else they had to do. I loved it. I thought it was so great that they got involved. The way I did it, when the kids came in, they took a random color. The hope band. was that they didn't just go with their buddies so that people could mix and mingle and, and get to them. know someone that they probably wouldn't typically hang out with. Which I think was really good, especially for my group, because they are the youngest coming in and they didn't know a lot of people. It was a great night. Stress and pressure of, is it going to be fun? Because I think really kids only care about having fun. That's why I tried to sneak in Combine service. some service, teaching a little lesson. We had root beer floats. It was Friendship, great. refreshments, Ruby and float. fun. I think the activity had it all. Matt, shout out to mom for crushing yeah, that one. I think you're off the hook you. for like probably a year. You have to do like one every so often, right? I think I have to do one in October, but October. it's going to be great. Start prepping now. Now we just have to start prepping for the lesson we have to teach on Sunday and then get to our career fair that we have to present at. We got it. Coming up tomorrow, Thursday. Crew goes back to the orthodontist, which is odd because he already had braces. So come back to find out why crew had to go to the orthodontist. <laughs> we love you. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. It's creepy guys in my kitchen video. <laughs> Na uh, nap of the neighborhood. Nap of the like neighborhood. To take naps. But neighborhood. <laughs> Took a bath. <laughs> It was, <laughs> it was an amazing day. We all all spin back plans of falling apart. What do we do now? But this is all we've been on. The link to the video will be in the description below. Go and check them out. In drop a like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more where I can make this one. And, and subscribe if you're new. And click the button to be notified below. In what?